After a wait of 13 months, Nadine is finally going into labour. But she appears to be struggling. Every single birth is different, so it could happen that the foal is in the wrong position. It could be that the foal is too big, so it can't come out properly. And mum will be pushing and pushing and nothing will happen. It could be that it's a stillborn. It's all a jeopardy. Her two and a half year old daughter, Merida, is staying close. There's not a lot I can do. I can see she's uncomfortable. If you could just tell them, you know, it's going to be all right, you know, just take it easy. I think literally she'd kick me out if I started touching her and, like, helping her. Half an hour later, Nadine's foal finally makes its appearance. Their birth is incredible and makes the marsupial stand apart from the rest of the mammals. When it is born, the baby is not completely formed. It's an embryo weighing a few grams that crawls up to its mother's pouch. It's blind and relies on instinct. Once in the pouch, the baby latches onto his mother's nipples and grows for a period of five to eight months. Until the day it is ready to leave the pouch and discover the world. It's exactly the same process with koalas, since the females have a pouch too. We can see a scene shot in Washington Zoo, where a gorilla mother delivers her baby on her own. The nurses can only encourage her. Good girl, Kalea. Yay, good girl. Oh, we got a baby. Yay. Oh my goodness. Good girl, We have got a baby. Good girl, Miss Kalea. The mother immediately shows signs of affection for her baby. This bond is essential for its survival. A bond that Sheila will have to create too. To prepare her as well as possible, Antoine and his team have set up a new process. They plan to have an ultrasound, so they've been training her for several months to practice certain movements. On la met en position, donc les deux mains bien hautes sur les barreaux, pour pas justement qu'elle essaye d'attraper les mains du vétérinaire quand lui il est avec la sonde. Le ventre bien collé à la grille. Oui, ma grande. Et ensuite, on vient, le deuxième soigneur vient toucher le ventre avec la sonde. Chez là, on touche. Sheila even understands a few words in French. We're touching is the sign that indicates she is going to have a fake probe applied on her stomach. Tu girl. Et chez là, on spray. Sheila knows water is about to be sprayed on her. Donc, en fait, on met du spray parce que chez là, elle déteste le, le gel à échographie. Les gorilles sont très euh, soucieux de leur, euh, leur esthétique et le poil, euh, le poil, c'est précieux. Super, Sheila. This whistle blow is what we call bridging in nurse language. Champion. Donc à chaque fois que j'estime qu'elle a bien fait un exercice, je bridge avec mon sifflet et je la récompense avec avec du raisin sec. Donc là en langage training, c'est ce qu'on appelle le jackpot. C'est fini, Sheila. 
C'est la, la grosse récompense finale pour lui dire qu'elle euh, qu a bien travaillé. It's impossible for now to know if the baby is fine. The nurses will know for sure in a few days with the real ultrasound, carried out by the vet this time. It's the start of the day. And in the giraffe house, a new baby is on its way. Orla is in labor. So, let's have a look. The calf appears to be coming out in the right order. Head and front legs first. She's doing fantastic. The front hooves coming out first, and that's fine. You really can see the giraffe contracting, and she's really trying to, like, push. Giraffe calves are huge. They're 10% of the size of their mother at birth. It's a risky birth because they're so big. It weighs ju just as much as me when they're born. Over five feet tall. And yeah, I feel for her because that's a big baby. I wouldn't want to be giving birth to a 60 kilo calf. You'll see the calf sort of hanging partially out, and it looks like it's it's not moving or if it's not breathing. It is a nerve-wracking few seconds. Is it alive? The two-meter fall is designed to break the umbilical cord and to encourage the calf to breathe. We were waiting for him to take his first breath, and it, yeah, I was like, oh, and then, thank God, he did. <laughs> good. Come on, little one. So the mum would give little nudges to get the baby up. The calf's legs and hooves, which are soft and spongy at birth, Harden during the first day so that he can begin to stand. Come on, Ole. The baby's first unsteady steps into the giraffe family are crucial. So, in them first few days, it is important that we do keep the mum and the calf just on their own. There's a lot of young giraffes in that group, and they are naughty. They do want to play with this new toy, so Ola really has to have her wits about her and be keeping a watchful eye on him. After a 16-month gestation period, it will take only a few seconds for Beth to give birth to the baby, which already weighs about 40 kilos. In a natural environment, the newborn has to stand up as soon as possible to escape predators. Here, the mother uses her horn to prompt him. Dorothée prays for this small miracle to happen with Beth. 